Have you ever wondered what baby-led weaning is all about and why it has become so popular among new parents? Imagine a feeding approach that not only introduces your little one to solid foods, but also allows them to take charge of their mealtime. That's baby-led weaning in a nutshell. Gaining momentum among parents worldwide, baby-led weaning, often abbreviated as BLW, is a weaning method that encourages babies to self-feed from the very beginning. Instead of spoon-feeding purees, BLW introduces babies to solid foods, enabling them to explore textures, tastes, and even learn fine motor skills. The cornerstone of BLW is autonomy. It empowers babies to control their solid food consumption, fostering an early understanding of hunger and satiety cues. This method could also potentially pave the way for healthier eating habits in the future. So, ready to dive into the world of baby-led weaning? Let's explore the basics. You might be asking yourself, why choose baby-led weaning? What are its benefits? Well, let's dive into that. Baby-led weaning is a powerful tool that can shape your child's relationship with food from an early age. One of the key benefits of BLW is the promotion of healthy eating habits. It allows babies to explore a variety of foods, textures, and flavors at their own pace. This exposure can not only help to prevent picky eating in the future, but also foster a love for wholesome, nutritious foods. In addition to shaping eating habits, BLW also plays a significant role in enhancing motor skills. Think about it, maneuvering a piece of broccoli or a slice of avocado to their mouths is no easy feat for those tiny hands. This process helps babies develop their hand-eye coordination, dexterity, and even chewing skills. But the benefits don't stop there. Baby-led weaning gives babies a sense of control over their eating, allowing them to decide what, when, and how much they eat. Now, let's talk about food regulation. BLW can help babies learn to listen to their bodies and regulate their food intake. This is a crucial skill that can potentially prevent overeating and obesity in the future. By allowing babies to control their portions, they learn to eat when they're hungry and stop when they're full, promoting a balanced and mindful approach to eating. In conclusion, baby-led weaning is not just about introducing solid foods, it's a comprehensive approach to eating and growth. It promotes healthy eating habits, enhances motor skills, and teaches food regulation. All these benefits make BLW a worthwhile consideration for your baby's growth journey. Indeed, the benefits of baby-led weaning are manifold and it's worth considering for your baby's growth journey. Now that you know the benefits, the next question is, when and how to start baby-led weaning? The right time to start baby-led weaning, or BLW, is typically around six months of age. This timing is more than just a number on a calendar. It's about your baby's development. There are certain signs that indicate your little one is ready to embark on this exciting culinary journey. There are two detailed videos in my channel about baby's readiness for solids. Check them also before you start. One of the most important signs is your baby's ability to sit up. This is crucial because it ensures your baby can safely swallow and digest their food. Another sign is your baby showing a keen interest in food. This could be reaching out for your plate during mealtimes or watching you eat with a curious gaze. Remember, BLW is about letting your baby lead the way, so showing an interest in food is a great, but certainly not the only one indicator that they're ready to start. Now let's delve into how to kickstart BLW. The first step is choosing the right foods. When starting BLW, it's best to introduce soft, easy-to-chew foods. Think cooked vegetables like carrot sticks, broccoli florets, or sweet potato wedges. Fruit like ripe bananas or avocados cut into chunks are also a good choice. Remember, the food should be easy for your baby to pick up and self-feed, so cut them into long, finger-length pieces. This is not only easier for their little hands to grasp, but it also reduces the risk of choking. As you introduce new foods, keep an eye out for any allergic reactions. Introduce one food at a time and wait a day before introducing another. This way, if your baby has an allergic reaction, it will be easier to pinpoint the culprit. Lastly, allow your baby to explore at their own pace. There's no rush. BLW is about promoting a healthy relationship with food and fostering independence. So let your baby take their time to touch, taste, and play with their food. Understanding when and how to start BLW is crucial to ensure a smooth and successful weaning journey. Like any new journey, baby-led weaning comes with its own set of challenges and risks. But don't worry, we've got you covered. A common concern is the risk of choking. Introducing solid foods to your little one can be a nerve-wracking experience, but there are steps you can take to minimize the risk. First and foremost, always supervise mealtimes. 
This allows you to step in if necessary. Furthermore, cut food into manageable pieces. Think small, soft, and easily squishable. Remember, your baby's chewing and swallowing skills are still developing. Another challenge is ensuring your baby gets all the necessary nutrients. While baby-led weaning encourages exploration and independence, it's crucial to provide a balanced diet. This means a variety of fruits, vegetables, grains, proteins, and dairy. It's all about striking a balance between letting your child explore new foods and ensuring they get the nutrients they need. There's also the potential for mess, lots of it. But remember, it's all part of the learning process. Your baby is discovering textures, tastes, and how to handle food. So embrace the mess. It's a sign of progress. Then there's the issue of food refusal. It's normal for babies to be wary of new foods. If this happens, don't fret. Keep offering the food. It can take up to several tries for a baby to accept a new food. Patience is key. Lastly, be prepared for fluctuations in your baby's appetite. Some days they may eat a lot, other days, not so much. This is normal. Your baby's appetite will vary. Just keep offering a variety of foods and your baby will eat when they're hungry. By being aware and prepared, you can manage the risks and challenges associated with baby-led weaning. Are you ready for some practical tips and tricks to make baby-led weaning a breeze? Firstly, let's talk about the importance of a high chair. This is not just a seat for your baby. It's a place where they'll explore and learn about food. Make sure you have a chair that's stable, easy to clean, and comfortable for your little one. You may also want to consider a chair with a tray that's at the right height for your baby, allowing them to easily reach and grasp their food. Now let's move on to the exciting world of textures and flavors. Introducing a variety of these is key to a successful baby-led weaning. Don't be afraid to get creative with flavors. From sweet fruits to savory vegetables, the options are endless. Just remember to avoid adding salt or sugar to your baby's food. Patience is another essential ingredient in the recipe of baby-led weaning. It can take time for your baby to get used to the idea of eating solid food. They may play with their food, throw it, or even refuse it altogether at times. But don't worry, this is all part of the learning process. Stay calm, stay patient, and remember that your baby is learning a new skill. Lastly, it's important to stay relaxed during mealtimes. If you're stressed or rushing, your baby can pick up on these feelings. Try to make mealtimes a fun and relaxed experience. Play some soft music, talk to your baby, and enjoy the process of them discovering new foods. Remember, baby-led weaning is not just about nutrition, but also about fostering a positive relationship with food. If you keep these tips in mind, you'll be well on your way to creating a joyful and enriching mealtime experience for your little one. If you're finding this video useful so far, be sure to subscribe to this channel to receive notifications about new videos with tutorials, recipes, and information about the latest trends that will help you introduce solid foods to your baby. These practical tips and tricks can make baby-led weaning a fun and enjoyable experience for both you and your baby. So, that's the basics of baby-led weaning. Ready to embark on this exciting journey with your little one? Today, we've navigated through the concept of baby-led weaning, its benefits, and how to know when your baby is ready to start. We've also discussed how to manage potential risks and challenges, and shared some practical tips and tricks to make this journey easier. Remember, every baby is unique and it's all about finding what works best for you and your little one. It's a journey of discovery, filled with messy mealtimes, adorable facial expressions, and most importantly, a healthy and happy baby. We're here to support you every step of the way. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comment if that was useful information.